Hello everybody, Florida Boat Corner here with a uh, build bear review. I'm sorry for this being so late. Uh, I had some stuff I had to be doing with my work and also having to deal with the excessive heat wave that has been, uh, well not really has been, uh, that during the weekend uh, I had to deal with with my job and whatnot. And I'm very sorry for having this uh, video out so late. Just that yeah, I'm trying to recuperate and whatnot from that excessive heat wave, and I have been trying to do other stuff as well, which I had just did yesterday, uh, watching the new Lion King movie. But for the most part, I'm very sorry for not being able to, uh, you know, to be doing this earlier or on either Sunday or Monday, like how I usually do it. Or at least what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to do like, uh, you know, on a Sunday or a Monday, or whatnot. So, uh, other than that, I am very happy now to have the time to do so. So, uh, today uh, I'm doing another one of my build a bears, in which I have him right here, which is uh, my uh, Charmander build a bear uh, Cinder. Um, I really can't remember a lot of uh, when I got him. I mean, around the time I think I was somewhat obsessed, or not like really obsessed, but like, you know, I was just starting to get into like Dark Souls 3 and whatnot, and that's the reason why I kind of made up the name for, or not made up the name, but picked the name Cinder for him. I don't know, just like stuff with fire and whatnot, Cause usually I, whenever I name some of my uh, build bears or Pokemon that I get from the Pokemon games, I'm always trying to uh, incorporate a name that uh, either means something of the element that they're a part of, or something... You know, at least right around that particular part. Anyway, um, but besides that, uh, you know, I'm really happy to get them because, you know, if I had anything for any of the uh, games for uh, Pokemon, I always pick the fire starters because, you know, usually they're the coolest ones. And majority of the time with all the gym leaders, they, they always uh, help out the most. Not all of them because, like, if anything, in red and green and blue that you gotta deal with a uh, rock type and a water type for the first two gym leaders but for majority of anything onward except for I think maybe one one gym actually uh, is a big pain in the butt for uh, fire starters but anything else there's uh, any of the other uh, you know regions they always have like you know it's, it's always good to pick the fire type gym because you know either of certain Pokemon you know certain gym leaders or at the very well least that uh that there'll be sometimes uh, certain gym leaders that won't have the particular uh things that your uh fire type is uh weak to and whatnot so but but if I had anything also too you know I grew up uh watching the hold on Okay, sorry about that. Just uh, I had to take a break because I mean, I think it's uh, the pollen count sigh over here. And it's messing up with my notes and whatnot. So uh, anyway, uh, going back to what I said, uh, you know, I grew up watching the original show for the Kanto region and whatnot, and uh, you know, I, one of the very few uh, Pokemon that I liked on the show was Charmander. You know, I really like him and whatnot. Besides Pikachu. You know, at the very well least that I, you know, always like have and, to, you know, watch him, especially how he, like, he grew up to, you know, evolved to be, uh, you know, both Charmeleon and Charizard. And if anything, I really wish, like, I mean, I, I understand the points of the reason why that he wanted to be, you know, to a certain evolution, even though technically he wasn't ready yet. But it kind of seems kind of strange that uh, uh, anything. I'm not sure if they ever did anything else with the show on that particular point. That technically badges actually counted towards whatever Pokemon you had. You actually had to have them at certain levels in order to, you know, for them to obey you. I mean, I think Charizard, or at least Charm, well, Charmeleon into Charizard, not so much Charmeleon because that's the only time you really. Well, I mean, I think when he was Charmeleon, he also obeyed him as well, but for the most part, that he didn't really, you know, pay attention to him until around later on when he got the badges. I mean, yeah, some people say it's technically not actually counting towards how many badges he had for the particular level that Charmander or Charizard was in the first place, but just it seemed kind of strange that he, you know, 
that, that all happened and it only happened so much so with Charizard than anything. But for the most point that I'm very happy to have him. I just got him uh, a strawberry scent yesterday over at Build-A-Bear. And then I also have him in this outfit which is uh, from last year's uh, Shark Week for the 30th anniversary shorts. Uh, I do have the shirt with uh, the I Love Shark Week shirt but uh, I don't know, just like, it, with it being a tank top and whatnot, and I don't know if we actually would have gone good with it. I mean, I like the color of the shorts, but, uh, with anything else, too, I, I took one of the copies of the, or at least one of the, I think the two shirts that I have for, uh, the Halloween ones for the Build-A-Bear, uh, shirt, and I put it on Charizard as well, so, you know, that's the reason why I have them wearing this and whatnot, just to, you know, it's more of something with Pokemon than, than, you know, anything else. Because, uh, so far that's all they have, plus, uh, the only other shirt they have for, uh, Pokemon would be the thing for, um, the, the I Choose You one for the Valentine's Day, episode, uh, Valentine's Day shirt that they came out with, with, uh, Pikachu with the heart balloons and whatnot. Um, he's very soft, uh, you know, he's very huggable and whatnot, you know, I really like him, like I said before, I'm, uh, you know, I grew up with watching the original Kanto region, you know, Pokemon, and, uh, you know, watching the episode where, uh, Ash first gets Charmander and everything, and all they had to go through later on afterwards, and I'm just very happy to have him as, you know, one of my collections, as I have said with all my other ones, and also I like how he's got the, the detailed tail here with all the fire and whatnot, um, you know, just uh, out of anything, like, I'm just so happy to have him and whatnot, like, to have him in my collection, like, you know, as I say, to do with all of them. And hopefully I get to have, get more of the starters, since the only one that they've done so far with the starters is the one for, uh, if I remember correctly, the Sinnoh region for, uh, Piplup, and I'm hoping that they do a lot more of the starters pretty soon, which I'm kind of hoping, because they're, towards the end of August, there's supposed to be another new Pokemon to be debuting towards the end of the month, and I'm hopefully hoping that it's, uh, cynical because, you know, fire starter, you know, fire type, and also it's going to be the hottest day of the month, so, or hottest day of the year, anyway. Um, so hopefully, hoping that it, it when it, to whatever Pokemon actually debuts on that day, hopefully that they'll be, uh, you know, Hopefully it will be Cyndaquil. If not, uh, let's just hope that it's a pretty good one and whatnot. So, and anything, uh, you know, just a, this is more about Charmander in which, um, like I said before, he's very soft, very, very cuddly and whatnot. I, mean, I recommend it to anybody to get him if you want to. Uh, and anything, I really wish I could have gotten the stuff that was exclusive to him. I mean, I do got the great ball hoodie. Uh, the only thing that sucks though, I don't have the one for, um, because he does cut, uh, there was a sleeper set for him, which would have been really nice, because at least the way he would have some pajamas with him, which I think I can get regular pajamas with him, because if he can fit, you know, the regular clothes like any, any other Build-A-Bear, or at least the majority of the other Build-A-Bears, I think I can get more for him at an earlier, or in a earlier, but later time and whatnot, but, uh, you know, hold on. Okay, sorry about that again, guys. So, uh, that's all I really got to say for uh, Cinder here. Um, I really wish I could have said more, but it's just that it's been a very long time since I got him, and I really can't really remember a lot more than, you know, some of my other bears that I've either recently got or did a lot more stuff. Because, I mean, like, anything. I mean, they're all important, no matter if they're, if they're explanation of why I got them or how the day was when I got them and whatnot. All of them are all special to me and whatnot, and no matter what, I all love them all the same and equal. So with that, guys, uh, we both like to say thank you guys all for watching my video. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that bell so you get any notifications of present and future videos. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any suggestions for any of the other uh, build birds you want to see in my collection for the next video, anything you want to see on my YouTube channel, or anything at all, make sure you write it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.